It's the end of the first weekend at the Toronto Film Festival and we're feeling peachy. Two men have been dishing us up some top treats over the last couple of days. In Fading Gigolo, John Turturro woos Vanessa Paradis with his delicious kosher fish. And in Labour Day, Josh Brolin's escaped convict has Kate Winslet come into the boil for a slice of his pie. Fading Gigolo sees director John Turturro cast himself as a gifted prostitute rented out by Woody Allen to Sharon Stone and Vanessa Paradis. Labour Day is a tale of longing and baking, a mysterious love story about a single mum, her 13-year-old son and the world's sexiest murderer. Both films are about female desire. For me, the gigolo was more of a tickler. Next up on the menu, meat. We've had three films at this year's festival that plunge us into the horrors of real-life incarceration. Mandela has Idris Elba as Nelson Mandela, banged up but benevolent. The Railway Man is a moving adaptation of the memoir by Eric Lomax, who suffered terrible torture as a prisoner of war in Burma. And Twelve Years a Slave beats us senseless with the brutal truth about race relations in 1840s America. One of these films will win every Oscar going, but Toronto is the sort of place that makes everyone feel a winner. Gentlemen to pudding, for we rise at dawn. The sweeter end of the spectrum has been a meal in itself. Can a song save your life is a musical souffle that fails to fully rise. James Gandolfini is sandwiched between sisters in Enough Said. Zach Galifianakis and Owen Wilson trade shots in You Are Here, and Jason Bateman insults ten-year-olds in Bad Words. Tomorrow, more slavery with Belle and more real-life incarceration with Devil's Knot. Plus, Keanu Reeves as the man of Tai Chi. Cheerio. That kind of being cut off and being restricted and claustrophobic and not having sound. I Porn is the backdrop to it. It's about a relationship. Your girl is going to be a star. No the movie's one. meant to be an allegory for class warfare and rich and poor. 